Today we're going to do a European classic. We're going to do the perfect roasted chicken. Very simple, very user friendly, and it's a great one pot chop. I have some really nice fennel bulb, fresh thyme, sweet yellow onions, carrots right out of the garden. And then in the recipe that you see, I did say uh, use uh, red new potatoes. If you can get a fun little potato like you have here, why not do it? These are great little butter creamy potatoes. I like to do a nice rustic rough chop because after you roast it, you still have something to bite into. So we're gonna add our onions to the bowl. These real nice, pretty little potatoes, they'll roast perfectly just by themselves, uncut. Now we're gonna get our fennel, take the top off. Now pay close attention to how we're cutting this. You take the top off, the bottom off, cut it in half, and then you got a little heart in the middle. You wanna cut that heart out. Keep it nice and rustic, like I said, because this is a good rustic dish. Okay, now I got my carrots. Cut the tips off. We're gonna peel them real quick. Okay, now I've got fresh thyme. About a tablespoon, now we're just gonna chop it up. You definitely wanna use fresh on this. Okay, olive oil, fresh cracked pepper, kosher salt, and just for flavor, a touch of ground up crushed red pepper. Mix this up really well. You want to keep mixing it up until you see that all your, your herbs, your salt, your pepper, and your oil is nice and evenly coated on all your goodies. Now I've got me a little roasting pan here. So basically we're just making a little bed for the chicken to sit on. Now we're going to prep our chicken. You don't have to truss it, but what trussing does is it makes sure and cooks it evenly and keeps everything in so you don't overcook the breast because the legs will kind of cover up the breast and just really uh, guarantee even cooking. I've got a trussing string here, but if you just have butcher's twine or something like that, it'll work just fine. I'm going to show you a technique that I like to use. You don't have to do it this way. The goal is to just get the wings in and the legs in. That's what you're going for. So what I do here, come up here. Come down, pull the breast up, bring the legs together, and just knot it up. Not that hard, but this process you don't have to follow to the T. Just know what the goal is. You season very generously on this. One, it's really nice to have that nice salty crust or the skin, but also the salt will dry out that skin a little bit and get it super crispy. Nice and even. Generous pepper. Make sure you get every part of the bird because every bite matters. So you want every bite to be good in season. So if you're just cooking for yourself, cooking for family, friend, whoever, you want them to enjoy every bit of it. And then I'll use just a touch of my crushed red, pep crushed red pepper. And then we place that right on top. The last step before we go in the oven is I got about two tablespoons of butter. You're gonna put it inside the cavity. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a nice kind of braising liquid and some nice juices to have with your roasted chicken and your veggies. Depending on your oven, you need to preheat your oven at about 425, 450 degrees. You need to cook it till it's done. Roughly 50 to 60 minutes. You're gonna want an internal cook temperature if you're using a thermometer of about 155, 160 degrees so it'll carry over and cook to that 165. 60 minutes has passed and we've got a beautiful bird. So a great way to present this chicken guys is take this to the table as is, put it in the middle of the table and let everybody dig in and eat family style. You've got great roasted veggies, you've got some potatoes as your starch and you've got a really nice hearty but healthy roasted chicken. Bon appetit.